Hey guys, um, hey guys, it's Tickle Little Fans, Pretty Real here, 1249, and I want to do this review, and I want to do two reviews of her, actually. You can see her at both at my dad's house, my dad's house outside, and, um, what she does outside, what she would have looked like. Um, this is the Purple Floating Dawn of the Dead. Um, this is an extremely rare floating ghost. I mean, the only floating ghosts I know that are on eBay right now are the floating groom apers and floating ghosts. And there's a floating witch I'm getting soon from a collector I'm buying off of like 40 bucks or less. Um, it's in perfect condition. He offered me 40 because he likes my channel or something. I don't know. Um, anyways, so this is my 2007 model that I got off Macari for a very cheap price. Well, no, let's not say cheap here. You know, because the lady who sold it to me thought she knew what she was doing. And this thing has been through a hell of a lot of crap over the years, it looks like. Um, first of all, it there's like, there's holes like all over the dress. There's like, I don't know if you can see that. There's like, I don't know if you can see that. There's like holes. There's like holes in there. There's, well, there's all these big holes here. This is coming undone. Um, her left hand no longer works. The bulb on that side is bent out. I haven't done anything about that. The fencer still works, and there's it looks like it fell out of the tree at one point or fell off of something. There's a huge crack in the nose. It's gotten worse as we've gotten it. And I'm trying to find a replacement. Not for the pole, just I'm getting a new Dawn of the Dead ghost at this point. Uh, they were selling the box for like $15 on eBay a while ago, and I should have bought that because that would have been really cool to have used it. I tried to tape the speaker because the speaker sounded awful when I first got it, and it still kind of does. I took the tape off because it was just melted on there, as you can tell. Um, I tried to tape it together. The whole pole is falling apart. The screw on this side is stripped. The screw on this side is messed up. The only side that's holding up is that side. And I wrapped the hand around the pole because it just it 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 sags down too low and it looks ridiculous. Um, and then when she gets activated, it's stupid because this hand doesn't go down, so it causes the head to like jolt forward. Um, so I don't really like that. Um, I, I'm actually, she's hanging off my thing. I hope this whole thing doesn't fall. It looks pretty supported, but, um, um, I'm filming her here. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm filming her outside. Um, she works perfectly. Well, almost perfectly. I mean, all these lights work. Her head comes down. Her, you know, gown works. Um, sensor everything works the motion sensor which is right here um, um it's just what the inside of this looks like i don't even see just a little bit of dirt and grime in there I've seen what's going on in there yeah i think it's a bit of dirt in there it's, it's been worn um the hair is a mess i i think the hair has honestly gotten worse since i got it it's just so i don't know if i should get a new wig for it brush it but the hair wears it down if you raise it down and it also, the thing that I, that I wasn't a huge fan of, I like this floating ghost, but and it's one of the ones I really like now. I, um, but her head doesn't go all the way to the top unless she's on perfectly good batteries. Like She'll do it twice on new batteries before she starts draining them, and she won't do it again. And um, so, yeah. Um, so, she's pretty cool. Yeah, I really do uh, like her. Um, I think she's um, interesting. In her own way, um, but there's a hole here. I don't know. This, this, this is. I don't know. The finger went through this or something. Or, I, and another thing I noticed is that these hands are brown, or they're you know they're the flat hands. And this one is like has like red paint on it. I don't know if the previous owner painted it or what, but I got this off my card for like you know what seventy seven bucks. I mean that's expensive. The other Dawn of the Dead I reviewed. Um, I got off eBay. The cheapest one, there was like a floating ghost I got for like $18 and it fully worked. And the price I paid for this, it varies. There was one like this for 40 bucks, but it was a 2008 model, and that was one I really wanted. But I didn't get to it. But there's a 2008 one from Australia, so I'll try and do, see if I can get that, but it's really hard to get to. Um, you know, stay tuned for that. Anyways, um, without, uh, I guess without further ado, we'll show you what she does.
Well, she's on new batteries now. That's why her head went up to the top. But um, but you know, you see, you know, if the batteries were like low. Her head wouldn't go all the way to the top. I don't know. And some of the floating ghosts did that, but they had to be really drained to do that, and their motor would have to slow down. Their audio was it was like pacing up so that I think the motor couldn't really keep up with it, and the batteries were low. And yeah, I got this last year, and this was a nice find because you know you don't stumble and. It, it was really expensive. I first saw the listing for this thing in, when was it? It was like February of last year, and it was like $104. And I thought, oh, I'm not going to be able to afford that crap. And so I did some work around my house to earn some money at the time. And somehow I, I emailed them. I said, hey, um, you know, does it fully, I, don't, I didn't even ask if it fully worked. I should have bought it in the lot because they were selling other stuff there, like the Teddy Bear's Flying Ghost, which I'm still deciding if I should get that. Because, uh, a floating Grim Reaper they had. They had this. This was the most thing I really wanted at that listing. That you could have bought it all for, but it would have been like 15000 and I wasn't going to pay that much for half-used animatronics. So I bought this for $77. I lowered the bid down. Um, and, well, I, yeah, well, it was like 90 with shipping, but it, the, Original, you can go to Macari and search um, HTF something floating down in the dead bride, and then it'll pop up. And um, I think the previous owners had this. Like, this was not something they bought off Goodwill. This was something they've had for years. And this was not a thrift find. This was an original thing I think they had for years. And hold on. I don't want it going off right now. I think this was an original thing they had, like, lying around, and I think they used it in many haunts. I haven't used her in a haunt yet, but I hope they have that soon, but, you know, she's in decent condition. She's very stiff still, so I don't know if that's because the fabric's wearing out, or well, I don't know what's what the story is with that, but I'm not really going to get into that right now. Point is, she works. She's in... She's in uh, she, okay, let's call it a, a so-so or average condition, because, um, um, you know, very few people have this, this floating ghost. As a matter of fact, I have 30, or probably, I'm being ridiculous now, I, let's just say I have a lot of floating ghost bodies in my garage, because of how many broke over the years, and they fully broke, they, I mean, my original floating ghost was out in rain, in the rain, and that's what ruined it. And it, we're not just talking about rain. We're talking about thunderstorm pouring rain. It got poured on that year. And I think it shorted it out because after we dried it out, it never worked again. And I eventually got inside of it in 2015. And I, there was just, there was no corrosion, but the board looked like it had fried. So um, this one's battery wire came off this uh, just the other day. And I, I had to re-solder it. It was like all rotting. The, there's like the tape in the battery part was like all rotting. The board has a little bit of corrosion on it. But um, this one's in rough shape, so I can't complain. At least I have this one, you know. It's better than nothing. But... Well, that's pretty much all the time I have for part one. And I'll probably make a part two soon at my mom's house. I'm going to bring this hook with me as I'm going to hang it on the uh, porch. Or I don't know. I'm going to do an outdoor review of this. Or I could film in the bedroom again. I, I want to do it, uh, more activations, but you'll see what I mean when what it looks like outside. So, yeah. So, um, I this video is like going to 10 minutes already. So, I've been talking way too much. So, yeah, I'm going to get going. See you guys.